So in this question, we are given a position function right here, and in part A, we need to calculate the velocity function. Now, hopefully we know that the velocity function or the velocity vector is going to equal the derivative of our position vector with respect to time. So what that means is that we have to look at the individual components and compute their derivatives with respect to time. Let's just rewrite the given position vector because in the i hat direction, there is an implied one. So we're going to say one i hat and then we have plus 4t squared j hat, and then over here we have plus 1t k hat. And again, we're going to compute the derivative because that's going to give us the velocity vector. Now, the derivative of a constant such as 1 is 0, so we have 0 i hat. And then for the j hat direction, we're going to have to use a power rule. We're going to multiply the power of 2 by 4, so that's going to give us 8, and then we're going to subtract 1 from the original power. So if we do that, we get a power of 1, and then we have j hat. And then finally, the derivative of 1t, you may remember when you have a derivative of a constant in front of a variable such as t, then the derivative is just that constant. So it's just going to be plus 1 and then k hat. We can simplify this a little bit because the 0 i hat can be canceled and therefore we have 8t j hat plus 1 k hat. This is the correct answer. This is the velocity vector. And if we go back and look at some of the dimensions given here, or the units, we can see that the position was in meters, and then of course the time is in seconds. So if you're looking for a unit for this, it would be in meters per second. So this is the correct answer to part A. In part B, we need to find the acceleration vector. And this is a very similar exercise, because the acceleration vector is going to be the derivative of the velocity vector with respect to time. So we just have to do this again, take the derivative of each component, so for the derivative of 8t, we would just have 8, and that would be j hat. And then here we have the derivative of a constant 1, which again is just 0, and that's k hat. We can drop the k hat because it's 0, and we can see that the acceleration is 8j hat. That is the correct expression. And then the unit, this is acceleration, would be in meters per second squared. And that, indeed, will be the final answer for part b of this question. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I would greatly appreciate it, but please don't feel obligated to do so.